Over the past few years, QR codes have gotten really popular for contactless URL sharing. I even put a QR code on my phone background when I go to conferences so that I can share my website with other people. We're going to use Cloudinary's auto upload mapping tool in conjunction with a QR code generator API to enable us to programmatically create QR codes anytime we need one. First off, I'm going to show you the QR code generator API. If we take a look at their example, they have a create QR code endpoint that has two parameters, a size and a data parameter. If we try this out for ourselves and use a 500 by 500 size QR code and give it a web address like bradgarropy.com, this is the resulting image, a QR code that links to bradgarropy.com. This is what we're going to use in our auto upload mapping in Cloudinary. To get there, first go to your Cloudinary settings page then click Upload. Here, you can configure an auto-upload mapping. What this means is that any image uploaded to a particular folder in your Cloudinary library will be routed through this API and then have the resulting image stored there. So in our case, I created a Cloudinary QR demo folder, which will then get ran through the QR code generator API with the parameters that we desire. The data parameter is left blank so that anything that we hand to the Cloudinary URL generator will get passed on through to the end of this string. Now we can go to the code and start configuring a script to do this for us. Here in VS Code, I've installed the Node.js Cloudinary SDK and configured it to point to my cloud, which is called Brad Garropy, with my API key and my API secret. Next, all we need to do is use the URL function to generate a URL that hits our auto upload mapping and creates our QR code, and then stores it in Cloudinary. This function's first parameter is a string that points to a Cloudinary folder. In this case, we'll use the one called a Cloudinary QR demo that we specified in our auto upload mapping. Then anything we put after this folder name will be the data that gets passed into the QR code generator API. So in our case, let's just put bradgarropy.com. This is gonna be the URL of the QR code that we generate. The last thing our script does is print out the Cloudinary URL. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Over here in the terminal, we'll type npm start to run it. And you'll notice that we do get a Cloudinary URL. If we open this image, you'll see we get the exact same result as we did from the QR code generator API, but it's being served from cloudinary.com. Back in the Cloudinary QR demo folder, you can see that our QR code was saved here after it was programmatically generated by the QR code generator API. Now let's make this a little bit more interesting by adding some transformations to our QR code. We do that by adding an options object with a transformation key inside of it. This contains an array of effects that we'll add that will change the appearance of our QR code. Let's add two effects to start with. The first one is called make transparent. This effect essentially removes the white background from the QR code, making it just the black squares on a transparent background. And the second effect we'll add is called vectorize, which will essentially turn this into an SVG. And speaking of SVGs, we can also specify the fetch format to tell it, make this an SVG. One important thing to note while typing out your transformations, the order of the effects in the array matters. This will become transparent first and then get vectorized into an SVG second. In some cases, this can affect the output of your transformations. Let's give this a try and see the differences here. Back in the terminal, we'll run npm start, generate our QR code, and open it up. This time, it looks a little bit different. In this case, it generated a raw SVG, whereas last time, this was an image. Now that we've got an SVG, let's take it one step further and add some color to our QR code. First, let's apply the replace color effect, which takes the black that was originally on the QR code and turns it into yellow. Running npm start again will show us the result where now the primary color is yellow. Next, we can change the background by adding a background transformation. Here we've added background black. Now let's see what this does. Back in the terminal, we can run npm start and see the final result. Opening up the link shows us a yellow foreground on a black background. Again, order matters. The background was initially transparent. When we did the replace color, it only affected the foreground. Then we filled in the background with the background transformation. Back in our Cloudinary QR demo folder, if we refresh, you might expect to see many versions of the QR code generated with all the different colors. But in this case, no. Cloudinary only needs the one source QR code, 
and then it can dynamically apply the transformations to that image to produce many different results. This saves you tons on storage space without sacrificing flexibility in the images you want to deliver. In the next video, we're going to show you how to use AI to automatically add tags to images in Cloudinary.